Wargaming Group Limited, also known as Wargaming.net, is a Belarusian video game company headquartered in Nicosia, Cyprus. The group operates across 16 offices and development studios, the largest of which is located in Minsk, where the company originated from. Initially focused on turn-based strategy and real-time strategy games, Wargaming switched to developing free-to-play online action games in 2009, including the military-themed team-based game World of Tanks. Topic: History Wargaming was founded by Viktor Kisly in Minsk on 2 August 1998, intending the company as a developer of strategy video games. The company's first project was DBA Online the digital version of a miniature tabletop rule set De Bellis Antiquitatis launched in 2000. Wargaming started working on its first full scale commercial project the sci fi turn based strategy game Massive Assault in March 2002. Over the course of five years, the company shipped five projects within the Massive Assault franchise. On the 16th of November 2007, Wargaming acquired the Minsk-based developer Arise. In December 2008, the company released its first real-time strategy operation, Bagration. On the 16th of April 2009, Wargaming started working on real-time strategy game Order of War. It was published by Square Enix on the 18th of September 2009. On 12 August 2010, the company released its first online title, World of Tanks. On 12 April 2011, World of Tanks was released in North America and Europe. In 2011, Wargaming relocated its headquarters from Minsk to Nicosia, Cyprus. Since 17 August 2015, these headquarters are located in the Wargaming HQ building, formerly known as the President Building, located near the Presidential Palace in Nicosia. European operations headquarters, known as Wargaming Europe, were established in Paris, France, in July 2011. On 3 August 2011, the company created a direct presence in North America by opening an office in San Francisco. At E3 2011, Wargaming announced the follow-up to World of Tanks, the flight combat online action game World of Warplanes. At Gamescom 2011, the company unveiled the third part of its military saga the naval action online game World of Warships. In October 2011, Wargaming announced the online collectible card MMO game World of Tanks, Generals. Throughout 2011, Wargaming joined strategic partnerships with Persia Studio, Leicester Studio and Darva Consulting, with each operating separate projects under Wargaming. On 21 February 2012, the Android version of World of Tanks Assistant, the mobile application for World of Tanks, went live in Europe and North America. In May 2012, Wargaming entered the Korean games market by opening a subsidiary office in Seoul. Wargaming embarked on a rebranding initiative and announced the Wargaming.net service, which will unite its games and services into a single battle universe in June 2012. In the same month, Wargaming had grown to 900 employees throughout the world. On 7 August 2012, Wargaming acquired Australian company BigWorld Technology which brought development of the middleware for its MMO projects in-house. In an annual report for the Cyprus Stock Exchange in 2012, Wargaming's revenue was declared to be €217.9 million, Euro, with a net profit of €6.1 million. Euro. Wargaming's shares were delisted from the CSE in 2015, and it remains a privately held company to date. Wargaming moved into the console market by acquiring Day One Studios on 29 January 2013. Renamed Wargaming Chicago Baltimore, the studios are currently developing World of Tanks, Xbox 360 Edition February 2014, Xbox One, July 2015 and PlayStation 4, January 2016. On 12 February 2013, Wargaming announced its own eSports league, the Wargaming.net League. The company acquired Gas Powered Games on 14 February 2013. On 26 March 2013, Wargaming announced World of Tanks Blitz, a mobile MMO game centered around tank combat available for smartphones and tablets. The game was released on iOS in June 2014. 
As of 2016, World of Tanks Blitz is available on iOS, Android, Windows 10 and Mac OS X Wargaming branched into the Japanese games market by opening an office in Tokyo on 29 May 2013. On the 22nd of July 2013, the company bought Total Annihilation and Master of Orion Intellectual Properties from the Atari bankruptcy proceedings. In July 2015, Wargaming launched WG Labs as a division that would act as a third-party publisher to outside developers. The creation of the division was primarily driven by Wargaming's partnership with independent studio NGD Studios and their game, Master of Orion. In October, the company also rebranded Dropforge, a Bellevue, Washington-based mobile game studio founded in 2013 by David Blum, as WG Cells. WG Cells was shut down in August 2016. Wargaming's WG Labs division released a reimagining of Master of Orion in August 2016. The game was developed by the Argentinian NGD Studios. In November 2016 Wargaming, Sega and Creative Assembly announced a new strategic partnership that will see Total War, Arena published worldwide. As of 2016, Wargaming owns a significant share of the Hellenic Bank Daniel S. Loeb's third point group is the other major shareholder of the Cyprus-based bank and has shown an interest in purchasing land property assets in Cyprus for its use and investment purposes. Wargaming is currently the largest taxpayer within Cyprus. In May 2017, Wargaming found itself amidst controversy when it was claimed that one of its employees had threatened to file a Digital Millennium Copyright Act (DMCA) claim against YouTube gaming content creator and World of Tanks community contributor Surfic over his scathing review of the Chrysler KGF Premium Tank, which centered around a lack of weak points on the tank that rendered it largely impervious to damage unless the tank attacking it used premium ammunition. Wargaming initially denied this claim, stating they would never threaten such action, before being forced to recant this denial when Surfic posted evidential screen captures of messages from WG employee Zoltan PH3 Lan. Sapos which stated, in addition to the threat of copyright strike, that Surfic had also been removed from the developer's community contributor program. In light of this evidence, Wargaming released another statement apologizing for its threats against Surfic and claiming that they were not made with the purpose of censoring his criticism of the developer, implying instead that his review had contained hate speech and homophobic slurs. An insinuation that was also recanted when viewers of the video found that, although it contained vulgar language, it was devoid of any form of hate speech. In 2017, Wargaming started a mobile games division called Wargaming Mobile. In February 2018, Wargaming America closed its Emeryville offices, cutting 100 jobs. Topic: Studios. Big World in Sydney, Australia, acquired in August 2012. Leicester Studio in St. Petersburg, Russia, acquired in 2011. Persia Studio in Kiev, Ukraine, founded in 2000, acquired in 2011. Wargaming Chicago Baltimore in Chicago, Illinois, and Baltimore, Maryland, U.S., founded as Day One Studios, acquired and renamed in January 2013. Wargaming Minsk in Minsk, Belarus, the original and largest studio of Wargaming, established in 1998. Wargaming Mobile, established in June 2017, Wargaming Berlin in Berlin, Germany, established in 2017. Wargaming Copenhagen in Copenhagen, Denmark, founded as Hapti.co as a subsidiary of IO Interactive, acquired and renamed in September 2017. Wargaming Helsinki in Helsinki, Finland, founded as Boom Lagoon in 2012, acquired and renamed in December 2016. Wargaming Moscow in Moscow, Russia, established in October 2017. Wargaming UK in Guildford, England, established in September 2018, Edge Case Games in Guildford, England, founded in 2014, acquired and merged in November 2018. Former Wargaming Seattle in Redmond, Washington, U.S., founded as Gas Powered Games in May 1998, acquired in February 2013, renamed in March 2013, and closed down in 2018. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Games developed. Topic. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Esports. Since 2013, Wargaming runs its own esports organization, the Wargaming.net League, which serves as a platform for World of Tanks pro gamers, with each tournament year broken down into several seasons featuring a series of online and offline events that culminate in a massive online tournament, Grand Finals. Topic military history activities Wargaming is involved in a number of projects to preserve military cultural heritage, including, the restoration of the sole surviving mouse super heavy tank together with the Russian Kubinka Tank Museum. Later, a Kubinka Tank Museum open letter was published saying, Central Museum of Armored Vehicles of the Ministry of Defense of Russian Federation officially states, that the information of the restoration works on the tank mouse, which appeared in various mass media, is not true. The attempt to preserve the battleship USS Texas, which is at risk of being scrapped due to inadequate maintenance and rusting of the hull, making it difficult and expensive to preserve. The restoration of military warfare at the Central Museum of the Armed Forces Moscow, the Victory Weapon Museum Krasnodar, Russia. The restoration of World War II memorials in Medan Kaluga region, Russia, and on the Volokolamsk Highway Moscow region, Russia. The recovery of the world's last remaining Dornier Du-17, now on display at the Royal Air Force Museum in Cosford, United Kingdom. The Wargaming Education Center at the Tank Museum at Bovington, United Kingdom. Annual Memorial Day events in North America. Donating revenue from select in-app purchases to charities, including AMVETS, Homes for Our Troops, and Military Families Fund. The ongoing sponsorship of the USS Iowa, docked in the port of Los Angeles, California. Fundraising for restoration projects at the Tank Museum at Bovington, United Kingdom. Proceeds from special premium shop packages are donated to the museum and used to restore the museum's current fleet of operational vehicles and to buy the highly specialized tools required to service them. A 25-hour streaming marathon at Wargaming West to raise money for children's hospitals and other children's charities November 2013. The Grace After Fire charity stream in North America assisting women veterans transitioning from military service, providing resources and a space to connect, renew, and heal. Restored of one of four remaining AC-1 Sentinel tanks, now located in the Australian Armour and Artillery Museum, Cairns, March 2016. Restored KV-1 to fully working order together with the historical and cultural complex Stalin Line. VR and R content As part of its simulation initiatives, Wargaming is exploring virtual and augmented reality technologies. In early 2015, the company worked with Google to record and portray a 1941 battle in 360 degrees for the Google Cardboard Mobile HMD. This was followed by a series of panoramic tours of World War II tanks, virtually inside the tanks retrieved, filmed in cooperation with Google and the Tank Museum in Bovington, England. Available via the Little Star VR Cinema Network, the series currently includes the T-3476, the M4 Sherman, Fury, from the Brad Pitt movie of the same name, the Type 59, Leopard 1, and the Chieftain. Each video also offers a tour with Wargaming military specialists Richard Cutland and Nicholas Moran. To honor Victory Day, Wargaming released the War Knows No Nation video. The video rekindles the memories of three veteran World War II tankers, blending live action panorama footage with CG scenes for the very first time. In spring 2016, Wargaming worked with the National Museum of the Royal Navy, Portsmouth Historic Dockyard and honored the anniversary of the Battle of Jutland with an augmented reality app, HMS Caroline R Experience. This app recreates the only ship still in existence that fought at the Battle of Jutland, the WW1 cruiser HMS Caroline. To congratulate Russians on Navy Day, Wargaming created a Porthub augmented reality mobile app that allowed users take snapshots with warships. As part of the 100 Years of Tanks celebration, Wargaming presented the virtually inside the first tanks 360 degrees video that featured a walkthrough of Bovington's collection of early tanks, enhanced by World of Tanks in game scenes of the Mark I, and the Free Tank 100 mobile app. The latest series in its range of 360 degrees videos, Virtual Inside the Warships, is set to debut soon and will feature HMS Cavalier, amongst others. <laughs> 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 
Topic Awards. Best Game Developer Award at GDC Russia 2009 Cree 2009 Media Award at GDC Russia 2009 Cree 2009 Best Game Developer Award at GDC Russia 2010 Cree 2010 Special Award from the Industry at GDC Russia 2011 Cree 2011 Industry Excellence Award at GDC Russia 2012 Cree 2012 Best Game Developer Award at GDC Russia 2012 Cree 2012